Hey guys, welcome to today's video, which is another camping haul. This time not from the Dollar Tree, but mostly from Walmart. So let's go ahead and get started. said in my intro most of this stuff is from Walmart I do have one thing from Target which I will be sharing with you first shortly because uh, I can't have a haul without uh, something from Target but it turns out and this honestly this isn't really any surprise to anybody I don't think but Walmart has a great camping gear section a lot of stuff even in store not just online and turns out my husband and I did a little bit of price checking price comparisons they're often cheaper than even Amazon so I highly recommend if you are going to be camping to check out Walmart if you need big stuff. Um, so let me go ahead and jump in. I'm going to share the first thing, which isn't really camping related necessary, necessarily, but I bought it for my, uh, my kids to kind of keep them entertained. And the one from Target is this Lego <laughs> Duplo set. Uh, Duplo are a little bit larger. They're kind of in between those Mega Blocks and standard Legos. They're... They're about this size, um, comes with a big old bucket of them. This was on sale for about 19 bucks and my kids love Legos, especially my youngest. And I just wanted to have stuff that was fun, that they're interested in, but that um, kind of isn't so small that it would get lost. They do have regular Legos, uh, but I just wanted to keep them on the larger side because if I take the regular Lego set, they have a big yellow bin that's very similar to this, full of like the standard size. It's just gonna get lost in the dirt. So I got them the, these big guys and he already loves it. He plays with these constantly. So we're gonna be taking these. And then also in kids entertainment, uh, this I did get at Walmart. Um, it's the Guess Who game. Again, not really camping related, just kind of kids related. Um, I figured since everything's kind of contained in here, there's not a bunch of little pieces, it would be a great sort of board game to bring. Um, it's pretty much like the standard old fashioned one that we played as kids, only instead of names like Phil and and Gladys, you got Jordan and Emma. So <laughs> if you can see the characters are like a little bit more hip now. Um, there are older folks in this, but um, I figured it'd be a fun game and again I wanted something that isn't going to have too many pieces so I don't have to worry about them getting lost. So I got that and uh, this was about 10 bucks and this specifically is camping gear. Um, I got these, is this, they're already washed so I'm not sure, but I got these um, camping mugs and they come attached with um, a carabiner and they've got like a nice plastic lid on top. Um, but they're stainless steel. These are Ozark Trail, which I believe is um, Walmart's camping line, uh, or their outdoor line, I should say. Um, but I got these for coffee or hot chocolate, one for me and one for my oldest son. Um, my husband doesn't really drink a whole lot of coffee. He's probably going to be the last one up at camp anyway. Um, but I figured it'd be nice for hot cocoa at night for the kids. And then of course, I'm an early riser and especially camping, I'm gonna be up early. So me and my dad can have some coffee in the morning. So I got those. These were about five bucks. So not bad at all. Got some jet like water shoes. Let me pull these out. I have a smaller pair for my son. These are for my oldest. He's got enormous feet, my gosh. Um, they're almost as big as mine and he's seven. <laughs> so I got these like water shoes they're almost like the remember the old-fashioned jelly shoes when we were little and then they came back in the 90s um they have that on top and they've got a bunch of holes and then on the bottom it's like this really tough textured plastic and they're really sturdy and I figured because we are going to be staying at a place that has a creek I wanted them to have water shoes um and something that was going to protect their feet um in the rocks and such so I got these these I don't remember offhand what the price is, but I will put them here. I will link uh, everything below in case you guys are interested. And, and I'm not, uh, I have a Walmart affiliate, but I just like, I, I never use it. <laughs> I never like put affiliate links anymore. Just, I don't know. I feel, I feel weird about that. I don't know if anybody else, well, clearly nobody else does. <laughs> Anyhow, and then we got this, um, 
paracord. Blah, blah, blah. 100 feet of uh, paracord, just like extra lines. It's basically, you can see that it's like this nylon rope um, from Ozark Trail. Again, I will put the, the price down here just in case. Um, this is just like in case we need to like batten down the tent a little bit more. We also got tent spikes. They're like, they were like a buck each or like 80 cents. They were really cheap. My dad has them and we used them the last time we were, um, when we went to Lake Kalia, uh, to kind of like give a little bit of extra support for our, not only our tents, but like our pop-up, um, like the mosquito netted ones. So nothing was flying around and these worked really, really great. And you can spot them easily. Obviously they've got this like super orange look to them. I have just two more things to share with you guys. This is a very small haul, but I have uh, the next thing I'm about to show you and then I'll show you our tent um, that we got, which was a great deal. But this, I thought this was so cool. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, no, we're getting it. And this is called um, Funky Colored Flames or maybe it's funky flames, I'm not sure, but it's basically additive that you put into your campfire and it turns it all kinds of colors. I am so excited to try this. I don't know if it's gonna look quite as, you can see here, uh, the picture of what it's supposed to look like. I don't know if it's gonna be quite that vivid in color. Maybe I'll post something on Instagram <laughs> so you guys can see what it looks like. But I thought this was so cool. This was also about five bucks. And again, this was cheaper at Walmart than it was on Amazon. And they had a, they had a, a few of these. So I thought this was so cool. I think the kids will get a really big kick out of this. And then lastly, I will, <laughs> uh, it's big and bulky and it's still in its container. So I will um, kind of pop in a, a picture, like an overlay for you guys. We got an Ozark Trail tent. This is a 10, yeah, this is a 10 person tent. It's got three rooms and it was only $98. It has pretty decent reviews. Everybody says that it's pretty simple to, to put up. It's not one of those like Instapomp tents. There are tent poles that you have to kind of assemble it looks like. Um, but some people said it took them like two minutes to set up. Some people said it took them 20. <laughs> what was the person who did it by themselves that said it took 20? So, um, but everybody said that it, it worked great. It was sturdy. It lasted in the, in the wind and all of that. So hopefully this tent serves us well. Um, before this, we, uh, were borrowing a tent from my dad. My dad is like just your avid typical outdoorsman. So he has all kinds of gear. Um, but we got one for ourselves. And again, it was such a great deal. Tents, especially for, uh, to sleep 10, um, we're running upwards of like $300 and we saw this one for 98 bucks and it had pretty good reviews. I was totally sold. Um, you know, obviously it's not gonna be like one of those create like outward bound tents or anything like that. And it's certainly not like a glamping tent, but it should serve us well. Just, I mean, we're basically doing car camping. We're gonna be at an actual designated site. So it's not gonna be super rugged. So this should serve our needs. And like I said, I'll, um, I'll have the, the close-ups up for you. And it looks like a cute tent. Um, and it's not like in a weird or funky, funky color or anything. Anyhow guys, that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Really quickly, I probably will film our grocery haul when that comes up. Um, as of, while I'm filming this, obviously I haven't bought any groceries yet. Uh, but I will film it and kind of maybe show you how I pack some of it um, in case you guys are interested. I think a lot of people are spending a lot of time outdoors uh, this year for obvious reasons. So um, maybe I'll film that for you guys as well. Anyhow, again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care and happy camping.